Hi everyone! Today we're going to show you how to insert the booking form of any bookable product into a page on your site using the Gutenberg block available in our plugin, Git, Booking and Appointment for WooCommerce. Before we get into it, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it! Once you create a bookable product, you can insert its booking form on any page of your site. For example, if you want to create a landing page and add the booking form of a specific product or show the booking form in the header of your homepage, you can go over to the page. In this case, I'm going to create a new one, page, add new. I'm going to make this my homepage. I'm going to add a cover image here. I'm going to set this to full height and full width. And I'm going to add three columns so that I can add the booking form to one of them. And here I'm going to add the booking form block. This will display the booking form of any product you choose. You can choose which product's booking form you're going to display here. I'm going to select the physiotherapy session. You can see it right here. You're going to find some options here to select the layout and style. Show the title, choose the heading tag, show rating, show meta, use a full width button or a regular width button like this. There are also style options to choose the text color, the background, change the padding, the border if you want to, like this, and the border radius. Let me set this image's opacity to zero and I'm going to publish this. Let's go see it. And there we go, my new homepage, my cover image, and here's the booking form of the product that I selected. Patients can now choose the date for their sessions right here on the homepage, choose the time slot, and book a physiotherapy session right here without being redirected to the bookable product page. Okay, so that's how you can insert the booking form of any bookable product into a page on your site. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.